I spawn in a Minecraft world, but something is very wrong, and that's because this is Bedrock Superflat. A world made of just one layer of indestructible blocks and here I have to survive a hundred days. Day one I had one goal, get food. So my plan is to run until I find animals. It's not like I have a choice, look at this. So I ran and ran and kept running until I was too hungry to run anymore. And then I realized animals can't spawn on bedrock. This is fine, I can just wait for night time, stay some zombies and eat their flesh. Terrible food, but better than nothing. Okay, so it's as dark as it can get, but I'm not seeing much. After waiting the entire night on day 2, I realized monsters don't spawn on bedrock. If I don't find anything, I'll starve in like 5 minutes. Okay, something that isn't bedrock. The one thing that always spawns in super flat worlds are villages. I've never been so happy to find bread. I got some basic tools, made a tree farm, found a map that wasn't very useful and got some iron. Day 3 I decided to solve the food problem for the rest of the challenge. So my goal is 5 stacks of the best food I can get. So I harvested the farms and got lots of wood for charcoal. Day 4 I tested every food and the best one was the baked potato. My goal was 320 of them so I needed to turn these farms into potato farms. Day 5 I got rid of seeds I didn't need and expanded my trees. Day 6 I kept working and got killed by a golem. Jokes on you, I respawn in the village. Revenge. Day 7 my farm was almost completely potatoes and I got killed again. Creepers that make no sound, very fair. On day 8, to get food faster, I started using composters. I can use plants to get bone meal and make the potatoes grow faster. I also caught someone stealing and let's just say, we don't show mercy to thieves. My potato farm was finally at maximum size and ready for harvesting. But on day 9, everything changed. No way, there's a chicken. Sir, I'll make you a fence right away. And the second chicken? We can breed them, this is great. It turns out animals can only spawn on grass blocks. Since fried chicken was a better food than baked potatoes, my new goal was 320 fried chicken. Day 10 I replaced the potatoes with normal seeds which I could use to breed my new food source. So here's another reason why chickens are superior. If you break their eggs, you can get a new one. Just like that. Day 11 I kept breeding and farming, but because of bad luck with the eggs, I only got one new chicken. Day 12 I grounded all the villagers because of their uncontrollable urges to steal my food. Day 13 I found a cow and tried to drink its milk, but it doesn't restore hunger. Disappointing. And I was up to 9 chickens. Days 14 to 17 I put all my energy into breeding them and the number was up to 52. It was finally starting to look good. Day 18 I didn't have enough seeds to feed them all, so I destroyed the tree farm to get more dirt. Days 19 to 22, the grind for fried chicken continued, the number was 188. Day 23, after collecting all the eggs, I had 160. I got 17 extra chickens from just eggs. And after 2 more days, we reached 329. I've been feeding you for days, now it's time to get my reward. I only killed a few then kept multiplying them because I didn't want to lose the entire farm. Day 27 I did the same thing and I had 143 fried chicken. Day 28 I broke 2 axes and day 29 I reached my goal of 5 stacks. Food is officially not a problem anymore. But the big problem is using stone tools for everything and being naked so my next goal is a full set of diamond armor and a diamond sword. Since in this cursed world I can't mine diamonds, the next best thing was buying them from villagers. So day 30 I freed them from their boats and put them in a small fence with a few beds. So how do we get the emeralds to buy the armor? If only there was someone who could buy my chicken. It's called the Butcher and he does exactly that. This is perfect. Day 32 I trained a weaponsmith. This is the guy who's gonna sell us the sword. But only after I level him up. 
And for that I would need a lot of emeralds, so all I did this 33 to 40 was expand my chicken farm. I would wake up, get seeds, breed them, expand the fence, then break eggs for the rest of the day. Repeat a few times and on day 41 I had over 1200. There's so many, they're dying of suffocation. It's time to turn this chicken into emeralds. Day 42, the weaponsmith leveled up. Now he had the iron trade which would make getting to the sword much faster. Getting iron is surprisingly easy. I killed a golem and one minute later another one spawned. After two more I leveled him up again but the new trades were trash. Day 44, I used the infinite iron glitch for the third level. After two more days I finally got him to max level. Diamond sword achieved. Next I trained an armor smith who will sell us the armor after I level him up of course. Because the helmet trade was very expensive it took 2 days just to get him to level 2. But on day 49 I could exploit the iron trade again and got the boots. Day 50 I got the emeralds for the pants and day 51 the last 2 pieces were right there. The helmet is mine, we are so close. Is this it? This does it, 29. We officially have full diamond gear on bedrock super flat, for which I killed 40 golems and 2000 chickens. My next goal is extremely ambitious, I want to go to the nether and get blaze rods. To do that I needed a portal for which I needed lava. To carry the lava I should get some buckets. So days 52 and 53 I bullied golems until I had enough. We've got food, armor and weapons. Nice. Day 55 I started my journey to find lava. Another village? Maybe we're lucky. Not what I want but I'll steal the food, sure. These houses don't even have chests, this village is a disappointment. Day 56 I found another. 2 lava, nice, but I need a lot more, I need 10. Third village, another one, we have 4. These are like 50 blocks apart, the horse is just for flexing. Day 57 I fought some slime and kept looking. Okay, another. Day 58 was a waste, I found 2 but 0 lava. I did steal some fetching tables to buy arrows later. Day 59 I found 2 more with 0 lava but I got lucky on the 3rd. We need one more lava house and we can go to the nether. We have all 10, we can go back and build the portal. What is that? There's stuff just floating. Oh, there's the end portal. We have to go to the end later, I'll make that a goal after the nether. Day 61 I built the portal. One small issue, how do I, you know, light it? I could use charges or flint, if I had any. Maybe we can find some in the stronghold. I arrived, towered up and started looting. Books, nice but useless. I don't have a water bucket, I'm dead. It's fine, I'll just slowly walk back. I got my items and day 62 I continued looting. Armor for my horse, useless, useless. This is the last chest. Stronghold loot sucks. What if I burn wood next to it? I am so good at this game. Day 63 I got the best equipment I could and went in. We can't celebrate yet, my goal is 15 blaze rods. I covered the lava around my portal so I wouldn't accidentally die and 64 was my lucky day. The fortress is right next to my portal. With diamond armor and weapons the blazes and skeletons stood no chance against me. Day 65 I got 15 blaze rods in bedrock super flat. The goal has been achieved. I want the next one to be as hard as possible, I want to fly with an elytra in bedrock super flat. And it can only be found in the end, so I needed to complete the portal for which I needed 12 vendor pearls. So day 66 I started building a mob farm. There's a hundred mobs and just one enderman. Two pearls, it's a start. After fighting the whole night I only got one more. So day 67 I rebuilt my tree farm for wood so I could expand it even more. One, two, and three. No. That was a cool dodge. No. He's just too good. You know what? He deserves to kill me. Now give me my pearls. We only have eight. This is so slow. So day 68 I went to the nether and traveled to a warped forest. 
The only thing that can spawn here are Endermen. Yep, this is good, this is a lot. We even have a few extra. Now we can go to the end, so I'll need a bow and some arrows. I got wood, traded sticks for emeralds, got the weapons, and day 72 I completed the portal. I'm going to the end in bedrock super flat. What an achievement! Before we get the elytra we have to kill the dragon. I destroyed the crystal and on day 73 the dragon was gone. I spent day 74 getting ender pearls to travel faster and day 75 I arrived on the end islands. Our goal here is to find two elytras. Teleporting from island to island I started looking for an end city. Can I reach the edge? Come on! No, no, saving pearls, save me! No. I died in the void and lost everything, the food, the armor, the pearls, the bow, but on day 76 I was determined to get the elytras. I still have potatoes and axes, this is not over. I grabbed some iron tools in a helmet, ran back and started searching again. Day 77 I stopped to get some pearls because bridging using blocks was giving me extreme anxiety. That's it, that's the city. We can't forget about the shulkers. That's some damage. Oh yeah, I don't have armor anymore. Extra careful. We're gonna be sneaky. Sharpness 4 diamond sword. And city loot is so overpowered. Chest plate and 9 diamonds. I'm rich already. The elytra has to be in the boat. I'm not afraid anymore. I have armor. We just need one more elytra. Day 80 I glided to another city, looted all the chests, but it didn't have an elytra boat. And day 81 I found one that did. Nice. We have both. All I have to do is get fireworks to fly with them. Day 82 I found a portal and returned to base. Day 83 I sorted a ridiculous amount of diamond armor and made a plan. For fireworks we need paper, which is very hard to get, so we'll focus on gunpowder, for which I need a creeper farm. I first needed to destroy the old one, which was harder than expected. Maybe I don't have to fight them, I'll just burn it. But it was very slow, so on day 84 I brought more lava and started using my own axe. On day 85 it was completely gone, so day 86 I started the creeper farm. So I have to make this thing from just wood and water. Okay. Two days of building later, it was finished. The question is, does it work? Except for the zombie and bats, it's perfect. I lure them into the water below so I can come over and get their powder. That's all I did day 88 and 89, I got 123, which was enough. Day 90 I got food since I lost all of it in the void and day 91 I made a plan. We need paper, which we can get from sugarcane, which doesn't exist in this world. So the next best thing is stealing it from villages. Village 1. No. No. No, it doesn't even have chests. Village 2. For paper, it's a start. Day 92 I found 3, but none of them were useful. Day 93 started with another empty one, but things got better. This is 6, it's more than the first one. And this is... 4, just like the first one. Getting paper like this was incredibly slow and boring. After 4 more days and 18 more villages, I had just 27. This is all we can get, 81 fireworks. We are officially flying in bedrock super flat. The last thing I want to do is loot a bastion in the nether. So day 99 I started looking for it using my fireworks very rarely because I only had a few. And day 100 I found it. I've got enchanted armor from the end dude, I'm not afraid of you. What treasure do we get? Bruh. Pork and an iron sword. Oh, that looks promising. A hundred free gold just hanging around. These are the last chests. I guess we'll take the obsidian. Netherite scrap, this is the best material in the game, so we can say this was a success, kinda. And a hundred days is over, and we spent all of them in bedrock super flat. We got food, went to the nether, got elytras, and now I'm probably stuck here because they're broken, but thanks for watching.